A mother's intuition is usually spot on. So when Jane Taylor's baby came home from daycare with bruises, she raised concerns. Her daughter attended Joyous Montessori School in McKinney, where a worker is now charged with abuse. Matt Howerton has that story. The Navy jumpsuit, the grim expression. To us, this looks like an ordinary mugshot. What does the kitty say? Yeah. Good girl. But not to this McKinney family. She turned her phone around and the first thing I saw was her picture. Heart dropped. I couldn't even, I felt like I couldn't even breathe. This is Jessica Wise. She's now charged with injury to a child after investigators say three children she looked after here at Joyous Montessori Daycare were badly hurt. One had eight broken ribs, a broken femur, and ankles. All of the stuff that went on, it came back to me. Jane Taylor and her partner, Angeline Muse, knew Weiss well. In fact, they say they pulled their two-year-old daughter, Olivia, out of Montessori last year because of her. We no longer felt safe with her being there. Taylor says Olivia would sometimes come home from Joyous Montessori with bruises and scratches to her face. And when they asked the daycare about it, officials told them Weiss was in charge. They all started to happen while she was in the classroom. Take a look. Weiss even filled out at least three incident reports explaining Olivia's injuries. A scratch from sitting at a table and two bumps from two different days. Both times, Weiss said Olivia hit her head on a shelf. Now that Weiss is facing charges, these moms look at these papers and don't know what to believe. And when I look back on it now, a lot of the, the way she was acting, not wanting to go around Jessica, you know, things like that, we were given signs and I felt like we failed her. Joyous Montessori had a clean record and no criminal complaints before Weiss's arrest. What does the sheep say? Nah. Oh. But when this family sees her mugshot now. I told myself today a monster it, it is, is locked up now. They're glad their daughter left long ago. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. State investigators looked into concerns surrounding Olivia but found no evidence of wrongdoing. After this week's arrest, every complaint against that daycare is now being reexamined. Boy, it was a scare.